Hello everyone and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB Advanced Test Automation Engineer. We are in chapter 3 and we are getting started with the next topic here that is 3.3 Task Development. Under that the first topic we are taking is 3.3.1 Introduction to Task Development and the task stands here for Test Automation Solutions. To begin with it, of course, the introduction to task development includes a lot of basic concepts like understanding how exactly a task is being developed, what are the steps involved, what is the entire process or the life cycle involved in preparing a task, and how it is really going to be helpful in terms of implementing the same with respect to the SUT. Altogether, in terms of introduction, we understand that it is really comp compatibly, compatibly same as to the other development processes. And when you talk about the life cycle of it, we will be talking in more detail in the upcoming slide. But when you talk about the development of a task, is this compatible to the other software development projects as well? Where generally, it takes the same steps of analyzing, creating, designing, and several other things to be performed. At the same time, the compatibility and synchronization with the SUT is very critical and important. Otherwise, it may not perform the intended task. This inquiry, so this required consideration in the TEA design and in the task development as well, that whether the compatibility will be required at any certain point of time. Now in this section, we'll be understanding what the SDLC is all about, the software development lifecycle of understanding the task development is all about. So let's get into that. Now as we move further on the right, you can see the lifecycle of a task development process where it begins with the analyze, analyzing of the collected data and understanding that what exactly a task needs to have or what the task is going to comprise of. Now, generically, when you talk about task, task is basically test automation solution, which generally requires what kind of runtime settings, what kind of external settings, configurations, export, import settings, and any kind of external resources if that is going to be required is what we include as a part of task. So setting up that is what you call it as task development. So first of all, you try to analyze that what is that you will be requiring as a part of the task development process and will be collected for processing further. As usual, the next stage will be about designing it, setting up the TAA design, that is test automation architecture as a part. Similarly, you also do a task design, which will be in coordination or in compatibleness of SUT. Following that, you of course develop and set up the task, which is required to be following test. So as a part of test, of course, you write some generic test cases to make sure that the environment is ready and the setup is ready for further usage. Once it is done with this, of course, a deployment to deployment will be done. And following deployment, a use of task or for task evaluation is needed to add more test capability and change test or to update the task to match the changing SUT. So from time to time, the changes are involved in SUT. Of course, your task is also required to evolve from time to time. And that's quite generic and easy to understand right from the maintenance suites, where you create maintenance suite. Of course, from time to time, as the modification takes place in the application, your regression suite also keeps updating from time to time. So this is the entire cycle, which includes analyze, design, develop, test, deploy, and evolve. So that's a very basic introduction to task development process, the life cycle. Now we'll be getting into the detail of the same by getting in depth of it to understand what other things are involved as a part of it. So that's all from this particular tutorial team. Should you have anything, feel free to comment below. I'll be there to address your queries and answer in detail. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, and keep understanding about the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.